Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lola and I'm here to talk to you about all things tech. Today, I wanted to talk to you about software engineering versus cybersecurity. I am currently a cybersecurity engineer, but for a long time, I was working on becoming a software engineer. Now, I've always been someone who spent a lot of time on computers and was just fiddling around on the internet doing different things until one day when I was in college someone introduced me to coding and that's where my mind kind of opened up into the world of technology and that this could actually be a career. At the time software engineer was the premier tech career. There wasn't really much talk about anything else, nothing about like data analysts or cybersecurity or or any of the other popular tech careers that there are now today. So with starting with coding, I started with the basics, so HTML and CSS. And that's where I kind of learned about how to build websites, what it meant to actually code and the syntax of code. Um, and also just how to create and be very creative in coding. From HTML and CSS, I moved on to JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is a bit different from HTML and CSS. I would say HTML and CSS were quite easy to pick up and once you kind of got it and understood it, you were pretty good. You could figure out how to do what you needed to do with those two coding languages. But with JavaScript, you got into more of algorithms and a different way of coding where you had to focus on different objects and it was a lot more dense and a lot more complicated than HTML and CSS, but was quite essential for learning how to build websites and get them to a better functionality than you could get with just HTML and CSS. As great as it was learning HTML and CSS and JavaScript and building websites, these were all things I was just doing on my own at home and I wanted a bit of a bigger challenge. Um, and I just kind of had a block up personally thinking that I couldn't start a tech career just by knowing these things. I had to kind of get become more of an expert and become more specialized. So that's why I started looking into things like app development, and I fell into the language React Native. So React Native is a language that is created by Facebook and it's really focused on iOS app development. So iOS app development is focused on stores that are on iPhones and on the App Store. And so learning React Native and beginning to build apps, that's when I really felt like, yeah, I'm a software engineer, I'm really enjoying this, um, I love the creativity of it. And also it was quite impressive, like when you're talking to people and you say, I'm an app developer, it kind of blows their mind. They think you're like super special, even though I'm not. <laughs> um, people think you're really, really special, or you're really, really smart, you're really intelligent. Um, and I'm neither of those things, but I was just really, really passionate about app development and it was, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. Um, and once you pick up a coding language, it's quite easy to pick up a new coding language. So because I had spent a lot of time with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, it was a lot easier for me to pick up React Native in a sense. And then once you start coding with React Native, it becomes a lot easier to spot the kind of differences or where you've made a mistake or where you've had a syntax error. Um, and that's when I was really fully fledged on becoming a software engineer. But then, I discovered cybersecurity and how I discovered cybersecurity is I was doing all my coding and software engineering stuff on my own, learning from things like YouTube, Udemy and different online resources. And learning from those resources honestly gave me such a good understanding. So even though I had now taught myself four coding languages, if you want to count HTML as a coding language, I still had a few blockers and wasn't very ready or felt very confident that I could start working as a software engineer commercially. Like I didn't go out and get a job. I just kind of let people I know, know what I was doing. Some people hired me to do a lot of freelance stuff for them. Um, but I hadn't ventured out into the world of tech as a career and got my first job yet. 
yet. To kickstart my career, I decided to go the entry level route and I got a role in IT. Now, this isn't a route I'd recommend for everyone, especially if you had already spent a lot of time like I had learning different coding languages and actually building. I would say more a junior developer role or any kind of entry level role that involved coding. But I think at the time I just didn't really have the confidence to kind of go for those roles. So I was able to get an IT role and it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. IT turned out to be a blessing in disguise because this is where I discovered cybersecurity, which is what I now currently do. And I discovered cybersecurity through IT because as a IT engineer, I was tasked with checking alerts for impossible travel. So impossible travel is where a computer has logged in in London as the location in one moment and then within 30 minutes has logged in with the location as Cairo, which is literally impossible. A flight to Cairo would take a lot longer than 30 minutes. So that is when you'd get an impossible travel alert. From that moment, cybersecurity kind of stole my attention and I never really looked back at software engineering, honestly. I just found things like malware, phishing, hacking so interesting and I started to deep dive on things like try hack me, hack the box and learning about different hacks that had happened to company and cybersecurity structures and those things just completely wrapped my interest up and I really forgot about software engineering. Honestly, I haven't looked back since. And so that's when I started getting into cybersecurity certifications and completely shifted my career path and trajectory and focused wholeheartedly on cybersecurity, getting certifications, understanding the community, listening to cybersecurity leaders. Those were all of the things that I kind of focused on and really got into. From that moment of making the decision while I was working in that IT role that I was going to be in cybersecurity, it took me about 18 months to get certified and get enough knowledge to break into an entry level cybersecurity role, which was the very start of my cybersecurity career and I haven't looked back since. So I want to share some of the contrast I found with cybersecurity and software engineering. So the first contrast is I do not code at all as a cybersecurity engineer. Now, there are some people who work in security engineering roles who do code. They have to learn languages like Python or Rust maybe, but that isn't my experience. So I am in quite technical roles, but those roles are focused on working with different tools and understanding the configuration and architecture of those tools and how they protect a company rather than having to code and build out certain functionalities and structures, which some people in cybersecurity do, but there are roles that you do not have to code in in cybersecurity. Whereas opposed to software engineering, the most important thing in your role is coding um, and building and creating and code reviews. I know there are things like software engineering managers who don't really code as much, but you still have to understand code heavily to be in that role. So the second contrast between software engineering and cybersecurity for me is creativity. With software engineering, it's a lot more creative. You're really focused on building a product or building out a system and you have to have a level of creativity to do that. Of course, you have to stay within the guidelines of that coding language, but sometimes you have to think outside of the box um, to build what you're trying to build or to get the results that you want to get. Whereas with cybersecurity, it's quite logical and analytical. There's not much room for creativity um, on the side of cybersecurity that I work on. So you have to follow quite strict rules and regulations in the way you work as well. And the data you handle is very, very important. So that's one big contrast where software engineering, coding is quite a creative activity. Cybersecurity is really, really focused on the fine details, problem solving. Thinking outside of the box is a part of it, but not in a creative way, in a logical way. The third contrast between cybersecurity and software engineering, I would say is how you work. So with cybersecurity, I found that you work in one team and companies don't usually have more than one cybersecurity team. They may have two different sides of the team. So the non-technical governance, risk and compliance side, and then the technical side, but they're not usually split up or 
it's working very separately. They're working quite close together. Whereas with software engineering, in any one company, you could have loads of different teams working on completely different projects, completely different parts of the product. And so there is a different way of working in software engineering as with cybersecurity. So in the software engineering, you can be a software engineering and move from different departments and different teams. Whereas with cybersecurity, you're with cybersecurity and that's pretty much it. The fourth contrast I would say between cybersecurity and software engineering is the fact that there is a non-technical side of cybersecurity, which you don't have with software engineering. Software engineering is purely technical in most senses. Whereas cybersecurity, you have the technical side, so your security engineers, your security architects, your penetration testers, and you have your non-technical side, which is governance risk and compliance, which is focused on information security and the compliance and regulations that companies have to adhere to to make sure that cybersecurity is working with governmental regulations and also industry standards. So that's another big difference between cybersecurity and software engineering. Now, the fifth contrast I noticed between cybersecurity and software engineering is that every single company needs cybersecurity. So whether it's an accounting company whether it's a weather company, I don't know, any company you can think of, it needs cybersecurity. They need some sort of protection, whether they need it in-house or they need to outsource it to another company, it's something that every company could use, whereas software engineers are not that widely needed. So an accountancy firm might not need a software engineer. Same again, they might need to outsource something to build something, but they don't need it as a necessity, most likely. They could use other software that's already been built by different companies. So that's another contrast between software engineering and cybersecurity. Now, honestly, in my opinion, neither is better than the other. So software engineering isn't better than cybersecurity and cybersecurity isn't better than software engineering. It just depends on the kind of person you are and what you want to spend your day to day doing. As soon as I discovered cybersecurity, I knew it was for me and I left software engineering in the past. I didn't even think about it again but maybe this video can help you make your decision. Let me know in the comments if you've been on the fence about software engineering or cybersecurity. I will say with software engineering, again, it's quite creative, you're building, and if you like that sort of thing, then maybe that's more suited for you. If you're like me and you're a very analytical person and you like to research and look into things, then maybe cybersecurity is for you. And there are a plethora of other tech careers, data engineering, data analytics, um, project management, loads of different things in tech that you could do. But this was just my opinion today on software engineering versus cybersecurity. I hope this video gave you a lot more insight on tech, software engineering, and cybersecurity. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.